hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole Cole. Today we are going to start my annual Easter or spring decor and I want to start with our mantle in our living room. I'm going with a very different feel this year. I'm going for a very rustic spring type feel. I'm not going all out bunnies and plaids and all of that. I just want to mix in all of my antique pieces that I have gotten in the last year from my parents and um, just some little pieces that I have picked up here and there. So I am excited about decorating this mantle and a lot of the items that I'm going to be using is, is the items that I got from my mom, which would be my great grandmothers, my grandmothers, my great grandfathers. And then I have one piece that came from my sweet friend, Genevieve, that I bought from her. And I don't know if you've watched her channel, but she announced a huge announcement today. So if you've not seen her video, hop on over to Genevieve and look at her uh, video from today. It was a sweet, sweet announcement. Y'all need to check that out. But let's get started on decorating this mantle area. Once again, I'm going to do it very different, very rustic spring decor. I've been, you know, just panning through Pinterest and getting ideas on what I wanted to do. And when I saw this, I thought this would be perfect for our mantle. So let's get started. I love this box. This was my great grandmother's, it's her silverware that's in here, but I, I want to use it for a different purpose. It's just basically going to be like a riser. So I want to use that here. It doesn't fit all the way on. There's just slightly off, but it, it doesn't matter. And then on top of that, I have, this is a very neutral bunny rabbit. It can be left out year round, which normally I do leave out. It's got kind of a cement look to it. It's really, really sweet. And I want to put that right there. And now you'll see, I have some cords that I am dealing with that's right here and right here. This is the only way we could have electricity on this mantle. So I'm trying to show you that you can kind of work around obstacles and hide or take away from the obstacles that you're dealing with. So I have got my bunny rabbit in front of that. And now I want to add a print in the back, something that would bring your eye and more color. These are the two prints that I got from my great grandmother. I have four of them actually. This is the one and then the other, but I wanna use them on our mantle. And now that I'm standing here looking at it, I'm wondering, do I wanna slide this down? Now I really like that. It's kind of behind the wooden piece. And now this one, I want to go on this side. I'm not going to do them actually like symmetrical. I want to do some frames in between it. And These are just old wooden frames that I have that I've taken pictures out of. And I wanted to kind of break your eye up across the piece. I love the fact that some of these have some gold on the um, frame. So it just brings in that other element. Now this one is very similar, but slightly different. And you see how I covered that cord right there? I may even move this over and put this one. This one's just a very plain one behind here. I wanted to keep my focus on the center. We've got the big TV up top, which we are going to frame. And I'm seriously thinking about doing me something different right here, but we'll get into that another day. So I've got my basic idea of what I want to do up here, but now I want to add in some books. So these are some encyclopedias that I got from my parents. And then this is just an old book that I got out of my mom and dad's house. So I have this one and I'm thinking, 
I want to add some interest on this side as well. This right here, I need something. Beautiful iron stone pitcher. Do that there. I have some greenery. Now y'all, I have bought most of my greenery from Pine and Ivy. It's Pine plus Ivy. You can look them up online. You can actually download their app and it's so easy to shop with them. They are absolutely wonderful. They're out of Texas. Uh, every piece of greenery that I have gotten from her is very realistic and very pretty. I love Hobby Lobby, please don't get me wrong, but some of their floral to me is lacking. I, I, I'm just saying it. I'm very picky when it comes to floral pieces. I also have found that you can buy from Piper Classics. Piper Classic carries the same style. And then I have a local store here in Andalusia or close to us, Andalusia, that she sells that. And um, that is Lena Ellen. She has a lot of the same type greenery. So I'm very blessed that I have something local. If I need to run grab something, uh, I can order off of Pine and Ivy or I can order off of Piper Classic. But I just want some greenery coming out of this uh, pitcher. And I'm almost thinking I want a little color. I have this pink. It is from Pine and Ivy as well. And, it, and I have this in the white and it's got the little pom-pom flowers on it. But I'm just going to add for a pop of color because it's bringing the pink out of these two um, pictures. So I'm already liking that. But it's like I'm needing something else. I need more interest. Those are some little books of my great-grandfather's, and I thought I have these pretty wooden birds, and I think I'm going to do one here and possibly one over here. piece of greenery. That adds some interest behind the rabbit. Oh yeah, I love that. You see how I draped it across the piece? I love that. Love that look. I have another bird. What do I need to do? I almost wonder if I could take these books laid flat, these books standing up for a different look than that over there. I have another one of these pink pom-poms and I've just bent the stem down and I'm gonna put it in this white vase that I added here to hold my books up. I'm liking that, but it still needs something. This is some white birch that I used at Christmas. I use it in my little fire uh, basket down here, but I'm thinking I just wanna add a few pieces just to lighten it up a little bit. I like that. Now you know I love deer antlers and we are going for a, not a dark academia look in here, but more of a light academia. Oh. I, don't, I wanna add in my antlers. I'm just gonna mix those in here and there just for 
and very wispy look. I don't want it to have another pop of color on this side, and this is what I'm thinking. Y'all know I collect copper in my kitchen, but what if I put a little copper in here? Just to bring out these colors, I think that's really pretty in here. I almost wished it was a watering can, but I'm gonna go with this. I really like it. I'm gonna keep everything central of my mantle, and I think I'm done. So here you go. I left the ends on either side completely blank. I love using my great grandmother's pictures, her little uh, silverware box, and I even threw in some doilies and some just little pieces just to add a little more whimsy to it. I love the little birds. I did add a couple little birds here and there with some hydrangeas. These hydrangeas also were purchased at J uh, Pine and Ivy. So y'all, I'm telling you, you need to check them out. This little handkerchief with some lace and lavender little detail on it. So y'all, this turned out beautiful. I love this. It's just very rustic and I get to use the pieces that I love. And I'll just drop down below so y'all can see. I have, um, I love to change this tile eventually. We haven't done that yet. That is another project. I added a little bit of greenery with some deer horns and, you know, just some little knickknacks. But I love the way this turned out. I'm so glad y'all could join me today. I hope y'all have a wonderful day. The next one will be more spring decor. Can't wait to share more. Thank you.